Since replacing radio as the most popular mass medium in the 1950s, television has played such an integral role in modern life that it is difficult for some to imagine being without it. Television has exploded at a greater than exponential growth rate and can be found in billions of homes around the world. But 100 years ago, nobody even knew what a television was. In fact, as late as 1947, only a few thousand Americans owned televisions. How did such a groundbreaking technology turn from a niche invention to a living room mainstay? In this video, I will be explaining the complete history of television, including where it could be going in the future, so ensure you watch till the end. Before I continue to the history of television, if you are new to Inventions Flex, please subscribe below and turn on the notification so that you don't miss out on our great videos on ancient and modern tech inventions. Haven't said that, let's dive back in. The word television first appeared in 1907 in the discussion of a theoretical device that transported images across telegraph or telephone wires. Ironically, this prediction was behind the times as some of the first experiments into television used radio waves from the beginning. Before electric televisions, we had mechanical televisions. These early televisions started appearing in the early 1800s. They involved mechanically scanning images and then transmitting those images onto a screen. Compared to electronic televisions, they were extremely rudimentary. One of the first mechanical televisions used a rotating disc with holes arranged in a spiral pattern. This device was created independently by two inventors, Scottish inventor John Logie Baird and American inventor Charles Francis Jenkins. Both devices were invented in the early 1920s. Prior to these two inventors, German inventor Paul Gottlieb Nipkow had developed the first mechanical television. That device sent images through wires using a rotating metal disc. Instead of calling the device a television, however, Nipkow called it an electric telescope. The device had 18 lines of resolution. In 1907, Russian scientist Boris Rosing used both the CRT and the mechanical scanner system in an experimental television system. With the CRT in the receiver, he used focused electron beams to display images, transmitting crude geometrical patterns onto the television screen. The mechanical disc system was used as a camera, creating a primitive television system. The world's first electronic television was created by a 21-year-old inventor named Philo Taylor Farnsworth on September 7, 1927. That inventor lived in a house without electricity until he was age 14. Starting in high school, he began to think of a system that could capture moving images, transform those images into code, and then move those images along radio waves to different devices. Eventually, the press was presented with a scientific breakthrough on January 13, 1928, when the television system made by Philo Farnsworth broadcasted a straight line. But it only headlined a few major nationwide papers. Needless to say, a straight line was not mass marketable, Hence, by the end of the 1920s, there were only a few dozen televisions in the world. All of them were in research labs. Between 1926 and 1931, mechanical television inventors continued to tweak and test their creations. However, they were all doomed to be obsolete in comparison to modern electrical televisions. The first television sets available for anyone were manufactured in 1934 by Telefunken, a subsidiary of the electronics company Siemens. RCA began manufacturing American sets in 1939. They cost around $445 at the time. The American average salary was $35 per month. In 1936, RCA demonstrated an all-electronic 343 line by 30 frames per second television broadcast, signaling the arrival of a completely functional television system. That summer led to the first major broadcast using this new medium. The Berlin Summer Olympic Games were televised by Telefunken using RCA equipment. Another major broadcaster rises to prominence as the BBC starts the world's first public regular high-definition television station on November 2nd. 
England's BBC led the forefront of television consumption in the late 30s, with broadcasts of the coronation of King George VI and Wimbledon leading to 9,000 television sets being sold too. During the late 30s, the U.S. had 18 experimental stations running. During World War II, most researchers went to war, but the research done on communications, notably the radar, translated directly to the television and led to improved television design. After the war ends, television sales become much more popular in the U.S., with the 630TS model by RCA selling over 43,000 units television slowly becomes ingrained into the fabric of American life. The first telecast of a World Series game was on September 30, 1947. The New York Yankees versus the Brooklyn Dodgers. Harry Truman becomes the first president to make a television address from the White House on October 5th. The world's first television remote control was called the TeleZoom, and it can barely even be categorized as a remote control. The tele-zoom was only used to zoom in to the picture on the television. You could not use it to change any channels or turn the TV on or off. The tele-zoom was released in 1948. The first true remote control was produced by Zenith and released in 1955. This remote control could turn the television on or off and change the channel. It was also completely wireless. By the end of 1952, TVs could be found in 20 million households across America, a rise of 33% from the previous year. U.S. advertisers spent a total of $288 million on television advertising time, an increase of 38.8% from 1951. The next big innovation came in April of 1954 when RCA introduced a color television set. It initially failed to be popular with only 5,000 selling in the first year. Notably, this adoption rate was much higher than the original television sales. It wasn't until 1964 that one million color televisions a year were sold. Following this production landmark, NBC announced that all but two primetime shows will be broadcast in color. Television continued its meteoric growth throughout the 70s and 80s. Cable television became more popular as the concept of pay service cable debuted with the introduction of the home box office. In 1980, Ted Turner launched Cable News Network, CNN, a channel devoted to showcasing news 24 hours a day. Also in August of the same year, music television, MTV, made its debut. In 1996, digital satellite dishes 18 inches in diameter hit the market becoming the best-selling electronic item in history next to the VCR. In 2005, flat-screen TVs and HDTVs were introduced and by the next year became affordable for the general public for the first time. In 2010, 3D televisions started hitting the market, spurred by popular 3D blockbusters like Avatar and many more. Today, online television like Netflix, Amazon Prime, and other broadcasting technologies have changed the future of traditional TV, providing the general public with premium entertainment at affordable prices. The future for television is bright as more exciting innovations are being rolled out yearly to help improve and make television the number one choice for home entertainment. Now you know the history of television, do like, share and subscribe for more historic inventions. See you in the next video.